Welcome guys to another Age of Empires forecasted game. I have a little bit of a channel update, but I will get back to that in a few moments. Let's present the players first in the color of pink playing as the Malians. It is KJJ, I believe he's from Taiwan. And playing as the Ayubits in the color blue, it is Fei Yu Wu from Hong Kong. Secret player though, a lot of people are talking about it, which is really strange because he only played this season and he has extremely high win rate, sitting at the top four in the world right now on the ladder. Uh, extremely curious about this player, who he is, how he managed to change the country if he's not from Hong Kong, and if he's from Hong Kong, who, who the hell that is. But anyway, a little bit of a channel update. Uh, most of you may know that uh, I, I've been streaming for a while. I, I gave I gave a streaming a shot, and one of the things I've been streaming, obviously, it's uh, playing, playing one v one, playing competitive gameplay. Uh, you know, there are many ways to play this game. The way I like it the most is the competitive one. You know, playing rank one v one, two v twos. You know, almost everything that I do is it's on the rank ladder. That's how that's how I enjoy it. Um, uh, however, uh, as some of you may know, I'm not a super good player. Uh, I'm just your average diamond player. I would say average, but <laughs> I mean, uh, it's still diamond, right? And I, I've been taking this uh, a little bit more seriously in the last months where I will just practice more. Uh, I had more games in the last season that I did in the in the previous ones, and I've seen a lot of improvements. Uh, however, uh, I understand that I'm not really that good, I'm not really that good yet, and I, I want to give you guys some good content. Uh, so that being said, uh, uh, I, I, I believe I won't be sharing any, any match. Uh, I do. Uh, some of you may, may have enjoyed it uh, for now. I, I will get back uh, back to that in a in a second, but I, I won't be sharing that until uh, I want I want to give it uh, I want to practice on on my own side without having the pressure to you know put content out there and this kind of thing. I just want to practice, um, and with a lot of things going on in my life now, I have multiple projects. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, I I don't work on Asian Empires full time. I ha I do have a uh, another. Uh, I work as a game developer and I have other things going on there. I'm working on a game myself. Uh, so I actually have another channel while I'm making a game. So the thing is, uh, I have very, very few time to dedicate to Age of Empires 4. Very limited time. And what I want to do is just, at least for now on YouTube, just focus on this, these casted games. Focus on, on that for now. And I will be streaming on Twitch. I won't be able to stream on YouTube because internet issues. I tried before and I tried multiple choices like stream on both, stream only on Twitch, stream only on YouTube. Um, so far, I found the best setting to stream on YouTube, although it's not perfect. Sometimes I get some issues, uh, but it's much easier than multi streaming. Uh, so I, I will just stream on Twitch for now, just because of internet issues. It's just really, really hard for me to stream on both uh, the bandwidth and, you know, a lot of technical details because China blocks the internet. So uh, I won't be able to stream on YouTube. Therefore, you can still find me on Twitch if you want to see me play, if you want to see me practice. I won't re uh, stream every single time, but I will stream. I will try to stream as much as I can, for sure. And uh, you, you can find me there. And with that said, uh, I, I plan to record way, way more videos for casted games like this one. And, and yeah, that, that's it for that's it for the channel update. And let's get back into the game. Ayubits are already there with the Eco Wing plus three villagers right away. Going out with the stable, start putting some pressure in the Malians. Definitely what you want to do against the Malians is to put the pressure as soon as possible. Because, uh, you know, the longer the game goes, uh, the better it is for them, they have the cow boom, and eventually when they get to Castle Age, uh, they have a very, very good economy. So you want to delay the Doomsday uh, as much as you can. Like, Doomsday is coming, 
and you're not gonna like get oh my god look at that double pit mine and definitely horseman will put some pressure into the malians forcing to make some donsas which will make the ayubits probably make some archers will probably force some sofas from the malians and there you go the donsas are coming uh, so it's not gonna be a smooth transition into the castle age for the malians there's definitely be some pressure uh, normally as the ayubits we used to have those days where the ayubits will just go super fast castles and i think by that time if they don't make any units, I, I think maybe one more minute at most, they will be hitting that castle H bottom. And it, it's just, it was just ridiculous, to be honest. I don't know if that will be the best against the Malians. Maybe the timing is it's okay. Maybe the timing is fine. But most of the times against a Malian player, uh, you just want to torch things down. You just want to, you know, take this thing down. Try to delay it as much as possible and force your opponent to stay in the field age longer because the Malians get their, you know, their power spike in the castle age and you want to force them to stay in the field age for a while. Archery range array there for our pink player. It's going to be getting some javelin throwers. Archers for the Ayub is not going to be doing much against those javelin throwers. They do have a lot of defense, so... Interesting choice for going those archers. I will have expected him to go for some horsemen just to have the unit counter and just have a purely, you know, infantry composition, uh, melee composition. But, you know, javelin throwers do a very decent job at defending as well. Very decent. Especially because they are very heavy on gold and you already have a couple of pit mines working for you. Let's take a look at the ink per minute. Uh, looks like more eco upgrades coming for the Ayubits. Really doing a super committed push. It's not like I'm gonna kill you right now. Just burn, burn this building or die trying. This is, it's not this kind of situation. Javelin yeah, Torres are already there. Gonna, gonna be able to take down that villager. <laughs> I say villager, that archer. Meanwhile, horsemen will start torching down. And more units coming for the Malians. Meanwhile, Kalboom. It's starting to happen. A couple of cattle ranches are already there. Plus one range attack coming for the Ayubis. Getting a very, very decent amount of upgrades just with... Uh, looks like it's only three villagers on the gold. It's always nice to stay in the field age. Some people like to not have villagers on gold. And what happens is that initially you have a big army. And then it kind of slows down because you don't have any upgrade. And I like what the IUB player is doing. It's just like getting those upgrades very early on so that the economy is better. And even if the push fails, this is some plan B, right? Upgrades are good. Uh, you, you know, economy is better than it should be. And you can just hit Castle Age and, you know, take it from there. I don't know how the Ayubits will deal against the Malians in the Castle Age. They are both very good civilizations in the castle, but I have a suspicion that Malians is just gonna be way, way stronger, way, way stronger than the than the Ayubits, just because of the cow boom. Meanwhile, more upgrades coming for the Ayubits. At this point, he's kind of like naturally aging up. Like, I have a feeling, like, that like you already got all the important upgrades. You might as well use that gold to a -shop. And this doesn't look like the, an army that will want to kill you at that point. I feel it's just more of a distraction. Like, for the Malian player to not go to Castle H right away. Because without that many units, the Malian player can basically hit Castle, like, very, very soon. And with that, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. At least you have some units to defend, some units to harass. Meanwhile, our Malian player already with a big wall here. Going to be having a great time just because the second pit mine can be placed here on the, on the back of his base. It's a very juicy spot. Actually, all the gold base are on the back. 
<laughs> oh my god that's beautiful that's beautiful i mean like that it re it's really worth it to put an outpost here it's really just worth it i'm gonna pop malians we're gonna be changing soon very very soon i believe in two days the patch is coming it's gonna be a very very good one lots of changes malian is one of the civilization that will change the most in my opinion lots of good changes there i don't know if good but interesting for sure meanwhile asia coming thank you observer mode for not being updated for so many years military wing is gonna be having the Ooh, what the hell is this black mic damage and armor technology becomes free and complete what the hell i, I never seen anyone go going into those oh this is really interesting that's why you research all the eco upgrades, uh, the blacksmith upgrades first, because as soon as you hit the castle age, you will have all your upgrades, tier 2 upgrades soon. This is like very interesting, for sure. Very, very interesting. I never seen anyone play like that. And if you think about the value, uh, let's take a look at the blacksmith, uh, how much they, they cost 350 each upgrade. Uh, this one 350 each, 700 and 170 something, 240 something, I, I think. 1000 something resources that you can get for free. And not only get for free, you can just right away. Now, how impactful that is, I'm not really sure. We're about to, we're about to know. Kaobom is about to finish for KJJ and he's very, very close to hitting that castle age. Meanwhile, the Ayubits just poking here and there, just try to focus his opponent to just stay in his base, not, not go to my base, man. I'm still around your base. If you go to my base, I might go to visit you and there will be consequences. And there you go, the castle age already comes and with that tier 2 upgrades already arrived for plus 1 and plus, uh, plus 1 melee attack plus one range attack plus two range armor uh melee armor just coming right now <laughs> all the blacksmith upgrades just upgraded for free now how much value you can get from this i'm not really sure i'm really not sure but what the only thing that i'm sure is that you need to attack now your veterans is coming soon and eventually you will just you will just lose your blacksmith advantage when you, you know when as the time goes the opponent will also have that plus two technology which he's looking forward to and suddenly you lose your advantage right so i, I believe you you need to you need to upgrade fast you, you need to attack now or he's waiting for that archer, archer upgrade, but I think it's a good time to attack. Malian already there in the castle age. And the Ayub is just gonna start mixing some Camel Lancers, more Speedman, and we're gonna see some Javelin throwers as well. As well as better and Sofa is gonna be switching to Sofa. But now he's forcing to fight, and let's see how the upgrades are. Are they actually working for him? I'm not really sure. We're well, about to see 55 against 20 military units. And this is a... Uh, who, who needs... Who needs cancel age units? Use fetal age units with elite upgrades. Plus two everywhere. <laughs> and every... It's a it's a wipe here. It, it is a wipe. Now it's a, I don't think it's over for the Malians. It might look really rough, um, but their economy is still very very good. Even though they are not gathering any resource, Kaboom working for for them, Pit Mines working for them, so they can still make some units. The problem is the Ayubit player. It's already there in the base and he's camping. Even if he's not killing anyone, he's camping the villagers. We go gather some wood right away. And definitely a tough position for, for the Malians. 
Now, with the common lances already arriving, these sofas are, are going to be even weaker. So, um, I really wouldn't go cavalry against Ayubits or Abbasid just because they have access to camels. Makes things really, really hard for you. And he simply just don't have the army to, to defend this. He does have a decent economy. But that's it, you know. That's it. I love this build. I, I love this build. It's like very, very... I don't know, I've never seen before. A little bit of a field pressure into free blacksmith upgrades. Seems like a huge boost to me. And these guys have like plus five range armor. <laughs> so they're gonna be really, really tanky. Cows need to need to run away for now. Run for their life, cows. It's like the cows are gonna be paying the consequences. Another cattle ranch going down. You just don't want the cows to to die there, otherwise you cannot build a cattle ranch. Looks like the Ayub is gonna it's gonna forgive. It's gonna forgive the Malian player. You can you have space to put your cows again. But it's just too many units now. 58 military units against 11. And they, they won't stop coming. Look look at this line. Crossbows, camel lancers. And you know horsemen and archers already did their job. I mean we are getting more premium units like the camel lancers and the, the crossbows. But they, they still do such a good job with the plus two attack and melee upgrades. It's just... Alright, and the Malian player taps out too much pressure. Interesting build coming from the Ayubit player. Um, well played by these two guys.